At the August 23rd school board meeting, there was a very high turnout for one item in particular, the Health and Safety Task Force recommendations for masks in schools. During the public comment period before the agenda item, residents made their voices heard. Children are far more adaptive than we are, and while this may not be fun, kids tend to be pretty tolerant and accepting, particularly when it comes to helping others. Our kids deserve better. They are falling behind educationally, and that needs to stop. I worked on a COVID unit for over a year. Right now I work in pediatrics. Today alone, we had a one-month-old, a three-month-old, and a two-year-old positive. I've had to send kids to the emergency room. We've had kids intubated and airlifted. Masks are just plain dehumanizing. They erase our facial expressions and discourage communication. Children need to see what other adults and children are feeling. Part of socialization comes from reading people's facial expressions. Children need to see smiles. Kids learning to pronounce words need to see the movements of lips and expression. Merrimack School District's Chief Education Officer, Everett Olson, then gave the task force's presentation to the board with its recommendation. What none of us in this room wants to see is masks being worn all year. But we don't know right now. We just don't have enough information of what's going to happen after the school year begins. That's why I'd rather start off more cautiously with our children and our staff than less cautiously. After the presentation, the board deliberated, a motion was made, and a vote was called. I move that we accept administration's uh, proposal to uh, mandate masking under the conditions outlined with a parental option for opting out. Lori Peters. In favor. Jenna. Opposed. Not in, opposed. <laughs> Cinda. Cinda. Is anyone home there? Shannon. I'm in favor. Lori, in favor. So uh, it right, we're still waiting for Cinda. Uh, for uh, the motion carries regardless. The motion carries. Soon after, an additional motion was made as an amendment to the first. Can I make a motion that masks should be worn as Lori initially suggested as children are transferring between classes? So basically, the opt-out would be a classroom opt-out, not, that's, a, that's not an overall opt-out. Opt they would still have to wear a mask in the hallway. Right. Okay, Lori, in favor? Jenna? In favor? In favor. And I'm opposed. What about Cinda? Cinda? She made the motion. In favor. Four zero one. For all of the details from that meeting and to see the rest of the public comment period, find us on social media at Merrimack TV. This has been Merrimack in Motion. Thank you for watching.